Today I'm going to show you three secret tools in Photoshop's Camera Raw to bring out the highlights and dynamics in your photos. Black and white edition. Let's go! As you can see, I've been working on this great little picture here of this girl. What we'll do now is we'll make it a smart object and go into Camera Raw. Now the first secret I'd like to show you is up here in the histogram. Did you know you can hover your mouse over it and get your blacks, shadows, exposure, highlights, and whites. Now make sure you right click and make sure that you have the highlight clipping and the shadow clipping warnings going on. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the shadows and scroll them back a bit. It starts to bring out really rich shadows. I like that. Now what we'll do is we'll hover your mouse and bring in some whites. You can see it go back and forth. Now there's a warning. Okay, well, let's back it off a bit. All right, you can play with your exposure. Bring it up or just slightly down. Now also, if you go to your curves, make sure that the parametric curve is selected and you also have shadows, darks, lights, and highlights here to play with. Bring them up or bring them down to make things look really cool. Darks. Let's bring them down. It starts to bring out the dynamics in the picture. Lights. There we go. I'm going to leave the highlights alone. And already, let's check before, after. It's starting to look good. Now, you can also use, right away, your dehaze. A lot of people don't use dehaze, and you really should, especially if a picture has got some sort of white haze over it. Just bring it up slightly, and it brings things out. Same with the clarity. That starts to bring things out. Now you can also use those when you make masks. So let's go up here and we'll go to select people. Let's check everything. We'll create the masks. First thing I wanna work on is her hair. Her hair looks great, but watch this. We'll go down here to effects. Throw a little dehaze on there. All of a sudden, her hair just comes to life. Touch of clarity. Now, don't forget, you also have curves in here. But right now, I'm going to take down the highlights just a bit, bring out the shadows. Before, after, it's really starting to come together. The next thing I'd like to do is her eyes. So let's go down to her eyes. The iris and pupil, let's click there. And once again, I'm going to go down to effects first and dehaze and clarity a bit. Now let's go back up and see if highlights and shadows do anything. Bring it up, bring it down. It looks great. Her eyes are just popping now in a black and white photo. It's amazing. So you can use these tips on anything you want and on any of the masks on here. And I'll just crazily bring out the dynamics of your picture. Those are just a couple of things that you can do with it. Let's get out of camera raw, hit okay. And let's look before, after. The dynamics and the life just comes back into this picture. This is great stuff. As you can see, these tools brought back the dynamics and life back into this black and white photo. If this video helped you in any way, please like and subscribe. You won't break a nail. I'm Don from Photo 911. See ya.